Thank you for coming out on this rainy and humid evening. Um, too bad we couldn't have these guys play outside, and it would have been a really great show there as well. But I think they'll be just fine in the air condition yeah. <laughs> uh, room that we're in. Um, I just want to make a couple of announcements. If you didn't hear, we're doing a 50 50 raffle. Uh, you can if you're interested, you can head back to the table in the corner. We've got a couple team volunteers that are helping us out with the tickets tonight. Um, and we would also like to thank the Michigan Council for the Arts and Cultural Affairs and the Michigan Humanities Council, because they help fund uh, at least partially this concert. Um, it's a really great program, which has provided local organizations um, like us with the opportunity to bring in great artists from the area to and play local musicians. musicians. <laughs> Harris and musicians. I can see you all. Well, yeah, yeah, no, no, I, I'm saying that it's been great for us too. Yes. Yeah. That's true. It, it's, it, it encompasses many different kinds of art. Um, so it's not just music, but uh, uh, the visual arts and performing arts of all sorts. Uh, so without further ado, let me get on to our performers, give you a brief introduction. Mustard's Retreat has a long and rich history of playing folk music that, as their website says, is aimed at pleasing, moving, and engaging their audience. These guys have played together for over 35 years, and one of the amazing things about that mark is how each of their shows seems designed for the audience they're playing to. So I'm sure you will agree after you hear David and Michael play both original and, I'm guessing, traditional numbers tonight. Um, without further ado, I'd like you to give a nice welcome welcome to Mr. Well, um, I always wonder about the introductions. What, what did it say? Entertain, engage, and... I got it from your website. <laughs> yeah, you better, you better live up to it, too. <laughs> All right. Well, we're, we are happy to be back in um, in Michigan. We've spent the whole of June, it seems, on uh, touring the East Coast, uh, upstate New York, and um, the Mystic Sea Music Festival. Uh, anybody know about Mystic, Connecticut? It's like Greenfield Village on Long Island Sound. And, you know, same kind of time period. It's got tall ships there. Um, everybody knows every traditional sea shanty, yo ho ho. They brought us out because they thought we were exotic, that we were from Michigan. <laughs> and uh, so now, and then that was a couple weeks ago, and then we just got back um, from the New Bedford Summer Fest. Again, big whaling port out there, lots of East Coast la di da sea shanties. I mean, that, that's where I'm from. So we wrote this song, we actually finished it right at the end of May because we were going to these festivals, and it was like home, hometown turf for me. And I wanted to, to do I wanted to do this song for a while. So I, I grew up in Brantford, Connecticut, a little town just uh, east of New Haven along the coast. Um, it was settled in like 1642 or 1644. Um, and uh, well, one of the one of the, the claims to fame has always been that uh, you know it was, it was Puritans, and they and and it got to the point where where um, they didn't feel like the, 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 the religion there was, was maybe severe enough. So they went, a whole bunch of them went and settled Newark, New Jersey. So it's like, so I think that's one of the, you know, I don't know if I want to claim that it's not a real claim to fame, having my town folks settle Newark. You know, and that's it. So there were, when I was growing up, there were, um, there were a, a chain of islands right off the coast these granite islands uh, called the Thimble Islands. Beautiful place, uh, long, long history. Uh, lots of very wealthy and well-known people um, have lived out there. And, uh, but it's also where Captain Kidd used to spend some time. And there's uh, tales of buried treasure, but nobody's ever found it. So, um, so we wrote this song. We thought, what could be better? The song of, of uh, pirates and buried treasure. It's called the Thimble Island Ghosts. Oh, my name is George 
Lindsley. I lived here long ago. My father was a lobsterman out of Lanfear's Cove. From Brantford up to St. Joe's Head, for oysters and for clams, till the British frigate caught us. And I was a pressed man. The year was 1694. A kingship came around and boarded father's fishing boat out on Long Island Sound. The boatswain said, here's a fine lad. We'll take you on board. Now you're in the service of the king and the articles of war. Heave away, Mitchell Haynes. Steady as she goes. Heave away, the boys, and let her go. Well, I was young and reckless, and I wanted liberty. And service on a kingship is one step from slavery. We captured a French smuggler out on the open sea. The captain named a prize crew off, and that included me. But we were taken off of Montauk Point as the wind began to lag. By a swift and well-armed sloop of war that hoisted the black flag. The pirates gave us all a choice to sink or join their crew. I never gave it half a thought about what I would do. Heave away, me chummy, steady as she goes. Heave away, boys, and let her go. Heave away, me chummy, steady as she goes. Heave away, me boys, and let her go. We sailed halfway round the world, which was just fine with me. We were hunted men, but brothers in a crude democracy. The pirates lived for freedom, both ashore and afloat. And we each got an equal share, and every man a vote. Now I'm not going to tell you of all the things we did, but I'll reveal that my last duty was a sail with Captain Jim. We buried his gold treasure, but with bones, it had the lies, so we all grew lies, and in the end, it was me who had to die. Keep away, Johnny, steady as she goes, keep away, me boys, and let her go. Her restless spirit ever longs to call somewhere it's home. The Thimble Islands anchor me, still I'd like to roam. I'm bound to pirate treasure for the wicked things we did. But I'm free if ever it be found, and I know where it's hid. Every decade now I toss some silver out into the tide. The summer folk, they come in to search, and sometimes they will find. It amuses me to watch them work, it preserves the mystery. And I like their jokes and laughter, and enjoy the company. Evil away, me Johnny, steady as she goes. Evil away, me boys, and let her go. Evil away, me Johnny, steady as she goes. Evil away, me boys, and let her go. the guy's name, George Lindsley, which is uh, after my uncle. I, I don't know what he thinks about being me a pirate, but uh, <laughs> I'll find out soon enough.